Coming up on the Gross Sports Corner, we look back on a track meet featuring community members. Emily Cummins joins us in the studio to talk about the softball season. And Alice Childress talks about the baseball team and the season so far. That's coming up here on the Glow Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Glow Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton. As the track and field team is now in their outdoor season, the team hosted a meet, but this track meet wasn't just for the Maple Leafs. It was open for anyone in Goshen to compete in. Tanner Kemp has more on the story. This past weekend, the Goshen College track and field team hosted their second annual interest squad track meet. The meet included many different running events and was open to all community members and students who wanted to compete. Rustin Nice, head coach for the track and field team, shares how the event first started and how it's grown since then. Well, we as coaches and, and some of our athletes were just saying that we needed something to do that was on our our home track and we don't host a track meet because we have some facility upgrades left to, to make before we can host. And so last year when one of our early meets was canceled, it was the nice day, the Friday before the Saturday that got canceled. So we just we said, hey, let's put one together and let's do it. So we did it and it was fun and people wanted to do it again. And so this year we promoted it a little bit more, um, invited some other people out to come participate and it, it grew and we're happy with the results from this year. Salvador Escamilla, a sophomore runner for the track and field team, talks more about the idea of more people getting to see the team in action at home. Well, like, the idea was very, it was, it was a very fun idea, thinking like, oh, okay, my peers, my classmates will be able to see what we do and understand, understand it more in depth, because since we don't have any other, any other close by track meets. So, I guess really in my head, I was thinking, all right, it's gonna be a fun little meet, just get out, do some running. While the event was lots of fun for both the team and others who participated, it was also a chance for the team to continue to work on their skills and compete against each other. Rustin usually tells us that it's good to get that tra that competitive stimulus in every now and then. And um, to be honest, within our group, we got little little rival rivalries between each other that we can settle. It's just all around a good time. Nice comments that while it is still important for the team to compete and get better, the ultimate goal is to meet students at the college and members in the Goshen community. That's the most important thing and that's the reason why we have it is to get to get our track team connected with the rest of campus um, and, and the broader community with the alums that came out. But it was, it was just a great event and, and watching people come out and everybody was smiling, everybody was cheering, everybody had a good time and I really appreciated that and that's what that's the message we want to send from our program. The GC track and field team will be competing this Saturday and the George Glass Invitational at Taylor University in Upland, Indiana. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is Tanner Camp. While it was a very windy day for the meet, lots of people still came out to support the team. When we return, Tanner Camp will be with Emily Cummins to talk about her softball season with the Maple Leafs. That's coming up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Tanner Camp, and to my left, I'm with Emily Cummings, junior softball player for the Goshen College softball team. Emily, thank you for coming down to the studio. Thank you. So this is your first year with the Maple Leafs after transferring from Florida South Southwestern State College. What are your thoughts so far in your first season here at GC? I really like it here. I think that the team atmosphere is really good, and I feel like I've built better relationships so far. So you are one of the top hitters in the conference, batting a 493, which is the second best in the Crossroads League. How does it feel to be amongst the best hitters in the conference? Um, honestly, I mean, it feels pretty good, but mainly the goal is to help the team, so I don't really look at our batting average. So right now the team is currently eighth in the Crossroads League in standings with uh, the month of April now starting the regular season. What is your personal mindset and the team's mindset going into this stretch of conference games? 
I think our team mindset is just a finish right now. Like, we're playing close games, especially against the top teams. we just coming up short. But I think um, for the pitchers, it is to get first pitch strikes and kind of work through the counts, but really just to finish the game is the main mindset. And you also talk about a little bit with the team having to make adjustments also through each game. When it comes to those games, uh, how do you approach each game when it comes to going up against, you'll have Grace coming up here, then you'll have Huntington. Uh, does your mindset ever change when it comes to going against other teams? No, I think that the mindset should stay the same regardless of who you're playing because that's how you will play your best. All right, well, Emily, thank you so much for coming down to the studio. Thank you. When we return, I will be with Alex Childers to talk about the baseball team here at this point in the season. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with Alex Childers, head coach for the Goshen College baseball team. Coach, thank you for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. So you are in your seventh season here with the Maple Leafs. What makes this team different from others in the past? Uh, I think every team kind of has a little bit of a, a different feel to it, different dynamic. I mean, obviously we graduated some key contributors last year, so kind of getting guys to step into those roles. But every year is a little bit different, you know, and this one's no, no, no exception to that. And you talk about your teams being different. Uh, when it comes to that, uh, does that include both uh, when it comes to game time and also um, off the field as well? Absolutely. Everybody's got kind of their different personalities, different dynamics that go into what makes them unique. Um, from a baseball standpoint, you know, you try to play to strengths and weaknesses, you know, as best you can to put the best product you can on the field. But overall, we got some good pitching and some good defense and some guys that can swing a little bit. It's just uh, the different personalities that make each team a little bit unique. Absolutely. So you are about halfway through your season here with the month of April rolling around. Uh, how do you think the team is doing so far at this point in the season? I mean, like a lot of, you know, programs at certain points, you, know, you feel like we've left some out there. Uh, you know, we played some good baseball at times and lost some close games. Uh, unfortunately, there's no, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda. You know, it's, it's a results-based thing. Um, so we would like to end up on the plus side more often than we have uh, to date. But at the same time, we've played good baseball. We've been in games. It's just finding a way to win those games. When it comes to games, um, what do you think is going to be a key factor uh, going here forth? You know, now with April in full swing, you guys are currently eighth in the Crossroads League standings. What is your team and what's the goal for your team in order to make a big push before uh, to make the conference tournament? That's a good question. I, I, I think, you know, this is the first class that I've had that, has had everybody on the roster that's made the postseason tournament. In the past, we had some that hadn't necessarily tasted that postseason success. And so kind of that urgency, like, like early on, we didn't have necessarily that urgency like that everyone matters. I think we've kind of grasped that with how we've kind of slid down the rankings, had a big win against Taylor uh, last weekend. And, and, and I think understanding the urgency and that, hey, it's like a now thing. Like these games early matter for the standings late. Um, going to make a big difference down the stretch that we got to make up some ground on some teams. Absolutely. And even aside from the games themselves, uh, for the freshmen coming in or the new transfers, and even just for the whole team in general, when it comes to this season, what do you want your guys to remember most by the end of the season? Well, I think, you know, how you kind of organize for a common goal, I think, is what's special about college athletics. You know, we've, we've been going since they were on campus in September, you know, and like practicing. You, when you're in the middle of it, sometimes that gauntlet, you kind of, uh, lose focus on the fact that, hey, we're all here together for a common goal, regardless of what your role may be at that moment, that we're achieving for something greater than just individual success. I, I, I want to be able to pull back on that, and hopefully that's something they can draw on well beyond their playing days. And we look forward to seeing that and the rest of the season. Coach, thank you so much again for coming down today. Thanks, Tanner. When we return, Benjamin will look ahead at the Maple Leaf schedule for this week. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner.
I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Today, the baseball team will be at home to take on the 20th ranked Taylor University Trojans in a doubleheader. The first game will start at 2 o'clock p.m. For softball, the team will also be at home today for a conference doubleheader against Grace College that is set to start at 3 o'clock p.m. The softball team will be at home again on Thursday in a doubleheader against Huntington University with the first game beginning at 3 o'clock p.m. And on Friday, the baseball team will be hitting the road for another conference matchup against Indiana Wesleyan University. First pitch is set for 4 o'clock p.m. The track, the track and field team will head to Taylor University to compete in the George Glass Invitational, which will start at 11 o'clock a.m. The baseball team will then take on the Wildcats in doubleheaders Saturday afternoon. The first game will begin at 1 o'clock p.m. And finally, softball will be at home once again taking on Taylor University in a doubleheader, and the first game is set for 2 o'clock p.m. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check our website at globeradio.org and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.